Hello, my loves, my Livy loves. I am so happy that you are here. Welcome to a new Timeless Love reading. Today, we're going to go in deep on what your love's thoughts and feelings are currently about you. What are the energies between you? How are they thinking and feeling? What would they say to you if they could? For those of you who may be having some communication issues, and um, where could this go next? We're going to take a look at, you know, just in the next few days, is there any movement going on in the connection? So before we start, I just want to give a warm welcome to all of our new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Live Tarot. And for all of you who are already my beautiful Livies, thank you so much for, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is kind of <clears throat> odd this morning. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I love reading your comments and messages. Please do keep them coming. It's just been fabulous. So without further ado, let's get right into your reading. So we're going to, um, I'm going to be shuffling in this reading and we're going to go ahead and pull some cards from various decks. So we can get a nice flow here and get you kind of a really complete picture. So we're going to start with your tarot. So Spirit, can you please tell us how is your twin flame, your soulmate, the person that you love and are watching this reading for, how are they thinking and feeling about you now. Wow. Hmm. How is your love thinking and feeling about you now? Wow. All right. So we're definitely starting out here with some energies of struggle with this Seven of Swords, this Moon's energy, as well as the Eight of Wands. Okay, so definitely has been some difficult time going on here in the energies between you and your beloved. So with the Seven of Swords, I'm feeling that there's definitely some sense of abandonment going on here between the two of you. Either they are feeling abandoned or you are feeling abandoned or you both are. And so it's almost like you have gone into You've gone to eat, uh, to your own corners. You know, you may be kind of hiding from each other at this time. It's almost like you felt like either they just completely ghosted you and took off or you had to step away and you had to ghost them in a certain way because things were getting a bit too intense for you. And so with the Seven of Swords, there's definitely secrets that are being kept, but they're more about thoughts and feelings. You know, they're more about feeling like you can't openly communicate what you're truly going through right now because you almost feel like they wouldn't understand. And maybe even a bit of that mirroring with the vice versa energy where it's like they feel that if they opened up um, and told you kind of bluntly exactly what they're thinking and feeling, you wouldn't understand. And you are feeling that if you opened up and told them exactly what you're thinking and feeling, they would not understand. So there's been a bit of a communication breakdown here. And because of that, there's definitely some energies here of being a bit dishonest. And what I mean by that is not that there's anything wrong, like you're being dishonest on purpose or you're seeking to hurt, but it's more about this, um, keeping things close to your heart as in because you are afraid of being hurt, of being rejected, of being misunderstood, you've decided to be more secretive and leave things in your heart instead of kind of just laying all your cards on the table. So I feel that both of you are going through this, this kind of time where you just feel like y you feel very abandoned. Um, even though you might have also been the one who've abandoned as well. So it's like this energy, this kind of weird energy of feeling left 
but then also feeling defensive. And that is why there's a big spiritual lesson coming here with the moon for you guys. It's like, it's, it's bring, it's brought you into a phase of lack of clarity, right? Cloudy judgment. Um, I feel that some of you have even been thinking, gosh, how did we even get to this point? Like, how did it get go this far? You knew that there were some issues. You knew that there were some um, ups and downs, roller coaster kinds of things that you'd been experiencing. And I feel for some of you, you may have been feeling a, a little bit out of sync with each other for some time. But, you know, that's kind of like the normal ebb and flow of life as well, right? All relationships go up and down, right? You might go through phases where it feels very blissful and very like honeymoon like and then you go through phases where it's like no matter what you say <laughs> they don't get it and you know and they end up like on your last nerve right and you're just like oh my gosh I can't take this anymore I'm just just you know I I love him I love her but they are so annoying right so it's like you know this this phase that you've been going through has definitely put you both into these heavier moon energies of of lack of clarity and wondering, okay, how do we resolve this? But the good thing here is this eight of wands, because this tells me that your love really does want to resolve this soon. It's, it's like they don't like being in these energies. These energies are making them feel very uncomfortable, very uncertain and scared right? They're afraid that um, they don't want this, this to become permanent. So they are looking for some sort of resolution that will bring you guys back into that better space, you know, that better energy. So let's go a little bit deeper. What more, Spirit, can you tell us about your love's thoughts and feelings right now about you and the connection, the relationship. What more can you tell us, Spirit? How is your love thinking and feeling about you and the relationship? Get one more card here. How are they thinking and feeling? Oh, wow. <laughs> this is good. This is really, really good. So look at this. See, we are getting a lot of energy here of resolution, just like we got here. So it started with this Eight of Wands, which is lovely. And now, look, it's kind of gotten into um, how do we resolve, but how do we make this better than it ever was before? So this is really wonderful energy. Look at this beautiful abundance card. I love it because I feel like this is where your connection, your your love, it wants to go. Because see, this seven of swords is such an energy of lack. It's such an energy of um, feeling like you have to um, take um, take what you want, but not in a good way. Um, it's the energy of feeling so much scarcity and lack and so much um, uh, insecurity that you feel that in order to get what you want, you almost have to steal it. Um, you almost have to just like you know, grab it and run, you know, and that is, is such a bad energy, right? It's such a, it's, it's such a low vibrational energy that you don't want to be in that for long. I mean, as human beings, of course, there's going to be times where we feel extremely insecure um, because we may feel abandoned. We may be, we feel le left out. We feel disappointed or betrayed, right? And so what's really beautiful here is that your love knows that they've been struggling with this energy, but they want to move to the opposite energy which is the energy of abundance which is that they they want to feel like there is nothing here that needs to be robbed or stolen or or 
you know, or nothing here to be secretive about, nothing here to feel insecurity that your relationship is abundant in love, abundant in understanding, abundant in honesty, where you guys can absolutely communicate with each other in a way that's not going to make the other person run. Okay, that's that's one of the main issues here. It's like you really want to clean it up. I mean, this is so beautiful. Look at this. I love it. Your love knows that this energy here with that seven of swords and that moon's energy are energies that need to be cleaned up. They need to be cleared so that you guys can get back into this abundant flow of love and communication and get back to that bliss that you used to feel. And so that's why we're getting this outcome card again. So this combination here of this eight of wands with this outcome, it tells us that your love is extremely motivated as in like this is a very deep desire that they have to change this scenario and especially because it's like they know that if they continue to go on like this not only will they lose you but they will even lose themselves because these are not energies that you can stay in for long periods of time without feeling some really really painful consequences, right? And so that's why we're getting double energies of action and outcome here, wanting to change this energy as fast as possible. Because see, I feel like they they feel that in a lot of the things that have gone wrong between the two of you or the things that do go wrong where you feel disconnected, where you feel like you want to run away from each other or where you may be feeling... Um, you know, triggered by each other. And, and there's a lot of deep and intense emotion that comes from that. But I, I'm, I feel that they feel that the reason why these things happen is that there's some aspect of the two of you that is still unawakened to what is the best um, way for you to come together in a way that is stable, right? So it's that it's not that you're, this is a very unique thing. It's like, it's not that either one of you are unawakened to the connection. You do realize that you have a deep connection, but what you're unawakened to is exactly how you are going to come together in a way that is, sat, is deeply satisfying to both of you. Um, how are you going to come together, communicate, and commit to one another in a way that is not about insecurity, vulnerability, abandonment, but is the opposite? So you've kind of been unawakened to how to bring this abundance into your relationship. And, and that is what your love wants to be able to awaken to. Isn't that beautiful? So I love this. I love this transition from the unawakened Seven of Swords energy into this feeling of a beautiful abundance because you cleaned up those low vibrations. You've decided to get honest with yourselves and with each other. This is lovely. Okay, so let's go deeper here. So Spirit, can you please tell us What is the connective energy right now between you and your love? What is the energy of your connection together at this time? This one just flew out, so we're going to take it. What is the energy of your connection together? Ah, interesting. Two out of three of these just kind of flew out. So I feel that that is a strong message coming through here. I'm going to take one more and then we'll talk about these. Get this growth. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so look at this. <laughs> I feel that this, this is an explanation of where you guys have been. 
um, where you uh, kind of almost like what has gotten you to where you are right now in the connection because we're getting the Emperor's energy we're getting the eight of Pentacles and we're getting the nine of cups so this is really interesting so what this tells me is that one of the reasons why you guys have been struggling if you've been struggling to communicate if you've had to step back if you've gone into some form of separation with little or no contact you know kind of like a break i feel that it's because the connective energy between the two of you has been building up for some time in terms of being more focused on your own emotions and your own ego than thinking about the other person so and i feel like because this is the connective energy between the two of you then you know it, it's definitely both of you so this is not you know they say you can't just clap with one hand right we have to take responsibility for our part of every situation as well it's always in a relationship it's always two-sided and so i'm feeling that um definitely there were things that happened here that made you again go more into yourself and become more focused on how you feel versus how the other person is feeling and again that's all natural right like we are all human beings and of course when we are struggling when we are feeling that we are misunderstood when we're feeling that um our love our partner um is not understanding us at all they're misunderstanding us they may be coming to some conclusions we may feel judged by the conclusions that our love is coming to like you know especially when we are disagreeing especially when we are um we want the same thing but we're trying to get it in different ways right because we both want love commitment satisfaction um intimacy and connection with our twin flame or our soulmate we all want that but sometimes what happens is that we're both coming at it from a different perspective and we're trying to get the love that we want in different ways and sometimes the ways in which we're trying to get it actually push the other person away rather than bringing them closer and so that's what is I feel has been going on for both of you here. It's kind of like an equal energy of people being very focused on their own satisfaction. Nine of Cups, it's like you, you've been a little bit out of sync with how to bring emotional satisfaction as a couple. And you've been more into, okay, how do I bring satisfaction to myself? How do I get my emotional needs met so that I can feel good? And and so the more there has been some conflict or there has been some struggle in the connection, the more you both started focusing on, okay, this is how I feel and what I feel is valid and I'm going through this pain and I'm going through this struggle, but you weren't able to actually um, go into or understand the perspective of the other person so it's vice versa right you may not have understood them they didn't understand you and so you guys ended up in this emperor's energy where it's like you know the downside of the emperor he has a lot of good qualities but the downside of the emperor is that he can be a bit like despotic as in it's kind of like his way or the highway <laughs> you know you know like the the every every energy has pros and cons right and so the pro of the emperor is that he is strong um he's a leader uh he knows what he wants you know in that same sense that you you know what you want you are strong in certain ways but then when you get too into this energy you can become a bit more self-centered a bit more um looking to satisfy yourself first and a bit more sometimes even controlling like trying to take control of the situation because you want it to be the way you want it to be and so, so this interest this this reading has been very interesting because i feel like it really does explain why you guys were in that um you know that seven of swords that moon's energy because when you do start focusing more on yourself um, because you're feeling hurt, that happens, right? But here's what's so lovely here. The other part of this 
is really positive because look at this eight of pentacles and growth. It's like you've realized, both of you have realized that you have been a bit more focused on yourself, that maybe you weren't as sensitive to the other person as you could have been. Maybe you even were feeling a bit selfish, like you were feeling they're selfish and you were being a bit selfish. But look at this. Both of you very much want to build this connection. You very much want to focus on how you can be practical in your day-to-day -day life in building a really solid relationship. Like you want the growth. And I love the fact that you got this growth along with abundance. It's so beautiful because I feel like both of you are in this lovely energy of understanding where you have been struggling with your ego, with, you know, just focusing on yourself. You have been able to kind of step outside of that and take a look at the fact that that is what has been getting in your way. And so there's so many people who can't even do that right? They struggle to kind of get outside of their pride, get outside of their ego and admit that, you know, they may have made some mistakes, admit their part of it. And so this is beautiful energy because I feel that both of you are in the process of being able to look at where you both went wrong and you're willing to admit to your mistakes in the situation. You're willing to say, look, I screwed up on this. I know it was bad and I'm sorry, but you're both willing to say that because you both are building something solid for your future here. You're very focused on building something. You don't want this to just be you know, here today, gone tomorrow. You want it to be solid. You want the growth. And I think that is so beautiful. So what else do you guys energetically together in your connection? What else is it that you want and you're looking to accomplish that you really are working towards together? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. We're going to take one more message here. What more is in the connective energy spirit? What more is in the energy of this connection between them? Oh, wow. I love it. <laughs> Look how beautiful this is. Okay, so definitely this is such a confirmation where we saw that you guys were definitely struggling with that energy of abandonment, feeling alone, you know, um, if you are struggling or in separation, I want you to know that whatever, you know, heartbroken feeling that, you know, feeling of heartbreak that you're going through, it's not just you. Your love is feeling it too. They are also feeling very abandoned, lonely, and lost. So you're both mirroring each other in that sentiment. You both are definitely lost without each other at this time. And you're both very much looking to come back together, to rise above. Isn't this so beautiful? Rise above the drama, the obstacles, the pettiness. Find strength to rise. Oh, I love it. And see, ultimately, no matter what these, what, no matter what the issues have been, no matter how much you have made, you know, separation, ultimately you guys have a loyal heart. Isn't that so beautiful? I love these two. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, look at this. So ultimately what's, what really matters here and what I think is the central message of this reading is that no matter what you guys may be going through at this time, and it may be extremely difficult, right? Maybe very, very difficult and painful what you're going through, but they are growing pains. You know what they call growing pains, right? Because beneath all of that, you guys have a loyal heart. You have tremendous loyalty to one another. You still have each other's back. You still feel like, you know what? This is my person, no matter what. And we will find our way back 
to each other because again right this growth card it's the growing pains it's the growing pains that happen in every relationship but this is where you get to that that crossroads where you have to make that solid decision okay are you going to give up on each other or are you going to come back together more loyal and stronger than you've ever, ever been because you want to grow, you want to rise above, right? And you want to grow together. So I love these energies. Look at the combination here. This is all growth energy, really passionate, really committed, uh, really focused, right? So this is absolutely beautiful. I love it. So let's get into what are some specific messages from your love to you? And I just want to remind you, this is a general reading. So not everything may resonate for you and your situation. If you'd like to have specific guidance, that is what a personal reading is for. And if you'd like to have one with me, the link to that is in the box below. So let's take a look at what would they say? What would your love say to you at this time if they could? What would they want to say to you at this time. So we have three messages here. Let's take a look. Life has been empty without you. I try to distract myself by going out with my friends. Wow. <laughs> so see, absolutely. So for those of you who are in some form of separation, this feeling of emptiness, this feeling of abandonment and loneliness is definitely there, okay? So if you've been feeling it, so has your love, absolutely. And they're trying to just do whatever they can to make themselves feel better at this time. I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. Wow, okay, so again, see, and look at this one. I still feel your energy around me. I never believed in these things before and I do now. So these are definitely messages from your love, especially if you guys have been struggling. And you know, sometimes separation isn't just a physical separation. It's also, it could also be that you guys are together or you are you, you do see each other, but you feel emotionally separated, right? Like you feel like you're not emotionally connecting. And so that's the same energy, right? F uh, separation doesn't just have to be um, physical separation. It can, it can feel very lonely even if you are together, even if you are with each other. It doesn't mean that you don't feel alone because you may not be connecting. You may feel a deep disconnect. So that's why we are here, right? Like we, that is why we are exploring what can be done here. How can spirit guide us and help us to fix this? How can we be guided to reconnect again? But this is so important for you to know that, you know, your love is as committed to this as as you are and that's really really important to know so then spirit can you please tell us just in the next few days what are the future energies of this connection where is this connection going what can we expect just in these next few days here expect in the next few days here for this connection. Oh my gosh, this one just flew out. Beautiful. And we'll get one more.
Where is this connection going, Spirit? Oh, lovely. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is fantastic, guys. Oh, this is so fantastic. I love it. Such beautiful energies coming through here. Look at this. This one just flew out beginnings. Oh, my gosh. New beginnings with healing with sacred journey. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so look at this. This is spirit telling us that this is definitely a sacred journey that you are on. And as all sacred journeys are, they are not easy, right? They're not going to be just, you know, simple, simple things, right? They're going to have their complications. They're going to have, you know, ups and downs. They're going to have a lot of opportunity for growth and expansion and healing. And so this is so lovely. Look at this. You are on a sacred journey. Understanding who you truly are, this journey brings self-discovery. So definitely you guys are going to discover so much more about yourselves, about each other. This is going to open up so much for you in terms of reconnecting and actually gaining a much deeper understanding of each other. Because look, there's a lot of self healing there's i'm sorry self-care and healing going on look at the self-care time out get get gentle with yourself and your twin so both of you definitely need healing gentle time together it's so important so that you can have this new beginning so you want to take whatever are these more heavier energies that have been going on between the two of you and start to de-emphasize as in bring them down start to bring peace to those energies start mending isn't this so beautiful i love this energy and mending is such a beautiful world word because i feel like it's all about being very slow conscious and deliberate taking your time not rushing into anything you know being slow and mindful and trying to open up your heart space energy to each other so that you can come together in that healing space and literally just mend the connection, work on mending, mending, which means uniting, right? Which means taking all of the differences and turning them into your strengths, um, really bringing unity back into you know disunity um this queen of swords tells us that you guys have been struggling with too much of the mental processes you've been struggling with being in the swords energy and again every card has pros and cons in tarot right every energy has pros and cons like queen of swords has a great, great potential for being logical and practical and highly organized and, you know, so many good qualities. But the downside, you know, of the Queen of Swords is that she and he, with this energy, can be a bit too analytical. They let their mind get in the way. They let their mind get in the way of their heart. They criticize too much sometimes, judge too much, analyze too much. Um, they can be a bit dismissive. They can be a bit rude, right? And I feel that for some of you, that has definitely been the case. There's been some yelling. There's been some rudeness. There's been, you know, a lot of heightened energy that comes from the negative aspects of the mind. And so that is something that spirit is saying that you need to start calming down and start opening up your heart space, page of cups. So this is about taking the small steps towards opening up your heart and trying to get out of your own way, get out of the way, get your mind out of the way and start communicating from the heart, even if it's just baby steps, 
You know, nobody's saying that you have to um, do things that make you feel uncomfortable, but definitely start opening up the heart, communicating at that heart level, trying to understand each other. And with this Empress energy, it's so beautiful because it is literally about giving birth to a new beginning. I love this. This is all about giving birth to a new type of connection. One is that one that is so much more powerful than what it was before. You know, this this new beginning that comes from the sacred journey that you guys have been on. If you to decide, right? If you to can forgive and decide that no, this is a sacred journey. You're committed to this. You're going to move forward. And you are going to birth a new way of being together, a new way of connecting, then literally the world is at your feet. The potential is absolutely there for this transformation to happen. So I am just loving this. I'm just loving this. So the affirmation of the day, let me give you that before we end. The affirmation of the day is my life is an adventure. My life is a beautiful adventure. Just know this because this sacred journey has literally been your big, beautiful adventure, right? So make sure that you write that in the comments below. Also, let me know what you thought of this reading. If you'd like to have a personal reading, the link to that is in the box below, as well as the link to all of the Oracle decks that I've created, especially for all of you who are on this journey. And for any thing more if you'd like more information or you'd like to let, know more about me and live tarot you can always visit our website livetarot.com okay you guys you know how much i love and believe in you i'll see you all on the next video